Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Ganit. My name is Sami Sudhana and today in the series of 50 Golden Rules of Geometry, we will be discussing the concept of Ptolemy theorem, a very, very important theorem. All the students preparing for MB entrance exams like CAT, IFT, ZAD and so on. Also students preparing for government jobs like SSC, CGL, CDS, IBPS, PO and students preparing for IP Math after 10 plus 2 must follow this series. This is very, very helpful for all these exams that I have just mentioned to you. Now look at this question guys, uh, the length of AC is 20 centimeter, right? The, the, the link of all the videos that I have recorded under this series uh, is available in the description part of the video guys. You can, you can refer to all the 50 golden rules or theorems of geometry in the description part. Okay, in this particular question, what we have is AC length is given to US 20, BD is 24, right? AD is a diameter. AD is a diameter as you can see that these two angles are 90 degree, it is mentioned over here also. We are supposed to find out the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. So we are supposed to find out the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. Now this is the area that we want to find out. Now first thing that you are supposed to know to find out the area of a cyclic quadrilateral. Why I am calling it a cyclic quadrilateral? Because all four vertices of this quadrilateral are lying on the circumference of the circle. So this is a cyclic quadrilateral guys. And area of a cyclic quadrilateral area of a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D, guys, right? Area of this cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D will be equal to square root of S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, S minus T. This is another property or theorem. It is known as a Brahm Gupta's formula of finding the area of cyclic quadrilateral. So this is another one more formula or rule of geometry that you can also keep this in mind. We'll be using this here, right? Now, what are A, B, C, D here? A, B, C, D are the sides of cyclic quadrilateral. What are S? What is S? S is semi-parameter. If I want to use this formula to find out the area of the cyclic quadrilateral, I need to find out the length of A, B, C, D. Okay, this length is given to me as 25. B, D is given to me as 24. Can I apply the Pythagoras theorem here? Now, this is 25. This is 24. Can I straight away say this length will be 7? 25 square minus 24 square is 49 square root of 49 is 7. Also, the length of AC is given to me as 20 centimeter. This is 25. So again, can I apply the Pythagoras theorem? 25 square minus 20 square will be 225. Square root of 225 is 15 centimeter. This length is 15 centimeter. Finding these two sides are very easy. What we are supposed to find out now is the length of BC. Because if I find the length of BC, only then I'll be able to apply this formula and I'll get my answer. Okay, how do you find the length of BC? This is this is where the this is where you'll have to use the Ptolemy theorem. And what does the Ptolemy theorem say? Ptolemy theorem says that in a cyclic quadrilateral, the product of product of AD and BC, the product of the summation of the product of these two opposite side and these two opposite side will be equal to the product of diagonals. That means to as per Ptolemy theorem, product of red side plus product of the green sides that is a b into c d will be equal to will be equal to product of the diagonals and what is the product of the diagonal this is a c and b this is your ptolemy theorem guys what is this theorem this is known as ptolemy's theorem guys right right ptolemy's theorem very very important one so let's first learn the derivation let's first understand how to implement it then we will talk about the derivation of the Ptolemy theorem also, right? As I'm discussing all the rules that I'm discussing in the series with proof so that other concepts of geometry also get revised with this whole series of 50 golden rule. So this one series is sufficient enough to help you covering the complete syllabus of geometry, right? Uh, uh, as in the proof, we'll be using all possible rules of geometry, guys, right? So this is the Ptolemy theorem, guys. Now you see that in this particular question, this is 25, this is 24, this is 20, this is 7. If I have to find out the length of BC, can I apply this? Can you see that 25 multiplied by, let's say this side is x, plus 15 into 7, 105, will be equal to 24 into 20, that is 480, right? Now can I say that x will be equal to 480 minus 105 is 375 divided by 25. This will cancel it on 15. So we get to know that this length is 15 centimeter. Now this length is 15 centimeter. I can easily find out the area of the cyclic quadrilateral because now I can find out the semi-parameter, right? Now let's use it. 
If I have to find out the semi perimeter of the cyclic coilator, it would be 25 plus 15, 40, 40 plus 15, 55, 55 plus 7, 62. 62 by 2 semi perimeter is 31. So, what will be the area? Area as per the Brahm Gupta's formula would be 31 minus 25, which is 6. 31 minus 15, that is 16. 31 minus 15 again, that is again 15. 31 minus 7. That will be 24. Got it? 31 minus 25, 6, 16, okay, 31 minus 15. Again, okay, 31 minus 15 will be again 16, right? So now 16 into 16 will be when will be taken outside of the square root will be 16. 6 into 24 is 144. When this value will be taken outside of the square root, it will be equal to 12. So 16 into 12, guys. What is 16 into 12? It is 192. So the answer to the question will be 192 centimeter square guys. This is the area of the cyclic quadrilateral. So you see that without knowing Ptolemy theorem, this would be really difficult for you guys to understand. Now let's talk about, let's talk about now what is a, what is a tall, what is, what is the proof of Ptolemy theorem guys, right? This is the Ptolemy theorem and the Brahm Gupta's formulas, right? Which can help you in finding out the answer to the question. Now we are going to understand, now we are going to understand now we are going to understand the derivation, derivation of the derivation of the Ptolemy theorem. Let me give you the derivation of it. See that. So guys, we are going to learn the proof of Ptolemy theorem now. We have just seen how to use Ptolemy theorem in cyclic correlator. What is the meaning of Ptolemy theorem? Now let's learn the proof. Proof is very, very important. This helps in revising very important concepts, right guys? So let's talk about the proof, guys. What is the proof of Ptolemy theorem? Let's first again talk about what is the Ptolemy theorem. In the Ptolemy theorem, the summation of the product of two opposite pairs in a cyclic quadrilator will be equal to product of the diagonals. That means as per the Ptolemy theorem, the product of AD multiplied by BC plus opposite pair CD multiplied by AB will be equal to product of diagonals which is AC multiplied by BD, right? That's our Ptolemy theorem is, right? This is our Ptolemy theorem. Now we are going to learn the proof of it. How will you learn the proof of it, guys? See that carefully. Listen carefully, everybody. All you have to do is draw up a line from the side C, from the point C, on the side BD, which intersect with the diagonal BD at the point K, in such a way, in such a way that both of these two angles are equal. Let's say both of these two angles are equal, which are equal to theta. Now, what I want you guys is to look at the triangle CBK. Also look at the triangle. Also look at the triangle CAD. Now if you look at both of these two triangles, I can clearly see that these two angles we have assumed to be equal. And the arc CD is making an angle at B. Let's say this angle is alpha and the same arc CD is also making an angle at point A on the circumference of the circle. So let's say this angle is also equal to alpha. Now the because both of these two angles are made by the same arc CD. So I can say that both of these two angles will be equal because of the basic property of a circle that that any arc will make any arc subtends, right, an arc of a circle subtends equal angle in the alternate segment on the circumference of the circle. So if this is alpha, this has to be alpha. What else now? What else we can do? You see that guys here? Uh, the, if these two triangles are sim uh, similar, once you prove that both of this angle is same as this angle, this angle is same as this angle, can I apply the concept of similarity that is side ratio will be same? Side ratio opposite to these angles will be same. Now the side opposite to theta you can see is bk and in this triangle side opposite to theta is ad now the third angle of this angle is this side opposite to this is bc and the third angle in this triangle is this complete angle and the side opposite to it is ac now look carefully i get to i get bk multiplied by ac is equal to ad into bc right this is my first equation. Now in my relation, I need AD into BC. I got AD into BC, which is equal to AC into BK. Now AC part is also there. What I need is to convert BK to BD. 
Now see that BK to BD. Now BK is already there in my expression. What I need is BD. So I need something with KD now. If I need something with a KD now, I need to target the triangle CKD. I need to target this triangle CKD. Now look at the triangle CKD and 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 the triangle and the triangle and the triangle C a b look at the triangle c k d and the triangle c b a and the triangle c b if you look at these two triangle carefully guys in the triangle c k d if i assume that this angle is let's say beta right this complete angle is beta also now, now in c k d you can see that this angle is theta plus beta and in triangle a c b this angle is also theta plus beta so you see that both of these two angles are equal so what I'm saying is, I'm saying that the in triangle CKD, angle KCD will be same as angle ACB. Because this angle is theta plus beta and ACB, this angle is also theta plus beta. So both of these two angles will be equal, right? I hope it is visible, right? Let me come on this side. Okay, now, now if both of these two angles are equal, now can you also see that the arc BC is making an angle let's say x degree at in this triangle and the same arc bc is also making an angle x degree here right so you see that the second also second angle also becomes equal if the second angle also becomes equal what are these angle the angle angle b uh, in ckd in ckd you can see that angle cdk is same as angle ca angle C. Now the moment you prove that two angles are equal, can I say triangles will be similar? So therefore, in the triangle CKD, the side opposite to theta plus beta is KD. So can I say KD upon theta side opposite to theta plus beta in this large triangle is AB. KD upon AB will be equal to, will be equal to side opposite to X. You see that here? side opposite to x in this triangle is bc and in this triangle x is ck uh, i don't have any use of ck in my case so i'll pick i'll pick the third angle and the third angle of this triangle is this one right and this angle is in this triangle is same as this one right the side opposite to this angle the third angle is cd which is same as side opposite to this angle which is ac so, if I cross multiply it, KD multiplied by AC will be equal to AB into CD, guys, right? This will be equal to AB into CD, right? Okay. So, all I have to do now is add these two triangles, right? If I add these two triangles, now, if I add these two equations, now see that BK into AC plus BK bk into ac plus kd multiplied by ac will be equal to ab into cd plus ad into bc right now if i take ac common i'll be left with bk plus kd now you see that bk plus kd is nothing but the whole length bd so can I say AC multiplied by BD is equal to, this is what I want. This is product of summation of the product of two opposite pair, AB into AB into CD plus AD into BC, right? Hence proved, hence proved that summation of the product of opposite pairs of cyclic quadrilateral will be equal to product of diagonals. This is what a Ptolemy theorem is. And this is what we wanted to prove. Hence proved now, right? This is proved now. Uh, all right. That's it, guys. This was a proof of Ptolemy. I hope you got the complete concept and the implementation of Ptolemy theorem. Similar to this, I'll be uploading more such videos. We will be completing the complete series of 50 golden rules of geometry very soon on, on this platform easy green subscribe to the channel share it with all of your friends all the students preparing for mba enters exams and ssc cgl and other government jobs exam like ibps rbi 
and CDS, right? You'll find the complete qu content of quant, data interpretation, and logical reasoning on this channel of EC Ganit uh, in the coming time. So subscribe to the channel, share it with all of your friends. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next part. Thanks a lot.